I was able to uncover why high income earners are under attack by the IRS. Lots of people were wondering why the IRS hired so many new agents. So I contacted an old colleague from the IRS to try to get the scoop. I know that oftentimes the IRS will hire a lot of agents when a wave of agents are about to retire, but in this case, it turns out that the IRS is going to use funding that was received under the Inflation Reduction Act to audit more high income earners, partnerships, large corporations, and promoters. Our focal point today is going to be on high income earners, and I'll bet that most of us didn't even know that part of the Inflation Reduction Act promised to target wealthy taxpayers. So I just wanted to create a video to give a really quick summary of four things the IRS is focusing on when it comes to high income taxpayers. Before we get into the four areas, I do want to say that the IRS defines a high income taxpayer as anyone making more than $400,000 a year. Even when I worked as an IRS agent, the IRS was trying to determine how to get more money from high income taxpayers. The IRS has wanted to do mass audits of wealthy taxpayers for many years now. It's just the IRS did not have the funding to hire more agents to go after high income taxpayers to try to discover where they hide their money. Now the IRS is going to use all the new agents that were hired along with artificial intelligence to try to get more audit adjustments and more money. Yes, just like everyone else, the IRS is using artificial intelligence to its advantage. Okay, so let's get to it. The new IRS agents are going to focus on these four areas. One, tax shields and abusive tax schemes. The IRS knows of many ways that the wealthy hide their income, but the IRS wants to do some digging to find out other ways that wealthy taxpayers are shielding their income. The IRS also believes that the wealthy are not paying their fair share of taxes because some are using abusive tax schemes. The IRS doesn't know about all the schemes that are out there, so the new agents will try to find tax schemes that the IRS hasn't discovered yet. Two, tax debts. Now, if you have income above $1 million and owe the IRS over $250,000, the IRS has added more revenue officers to focus on aggressively going after and collecting the debt. These revenue officers are going to reach out and contact more of these taxpayers to start collecting on the amounts owed. Three, digital assets. The IRS is going after digital assets because it's still a fairly new thing, and a lot of taxpayers aren't paying taxes on the earnings. In the past, the IRS successfully used the John Doe summons to find out the identities of U.S. taxpayers who have used virtual currency. The IRS discovered a 75% non-compliance rate, so the IRS has decided to pursue this area heavily and might continue using the John Doe summons method to find more taxpayers not paying taxes on their earnings from digital assets. And four, foreign bank accounts. The IRS is already aware that high earners will sometimes use foreign bank accounts to avoid disclosure in taxes. A U.S. person with a financial interest in a foreign financial account is required to file a report of foreign bank and financial accounts if the value of all their foreign financial accounts combined is more than $10,000 at any time. The IRS has found that there is a lot of abuse with foreign bank accounts, so the auditors that were hired will also go after the most extreme cases of potential foreign bank account non-filers. Okay, there's our really quick summary. So some taxpayers are viewing the unleashing of all these new IRS agents as an attack on high income earners. What do you think? Do you believe that the IRS is moving in the right direction by going after high income earners or is this unfair treatment? Please leave your opinion in the comments section. In the meantime, if you want to know more about your rights as a taxpayer, please watch the video on the lower right of your screen. If you want to know more about what the IRS is doing about taxing digital assets, please take a look at the video on the upper right of your screen. Take care.